Hello everybody, I'm Andrea Coraci and uh, I will talk to you about uh, sustainable interaction for mobile system. First of all, it's essential to underline that despite the efforts by institutions around the world, the top-down policy-make approach is not enough. As mentioned by DEF report, sustainable development cannot be imposed from above. It will not take root unless people across the countries are actively engaged. Many research suggests the necessity of creating a new approach to address behavior change. As we know, sustainability is a very big complex issue and it, it involves three dimensions, economic, environmental and social. Those dimensions that we can see on the diagram are tidal couplet and their interplay cause systemic effects that cannot be fully understood or predicted based on local events. So addressing the complexity of uh, sustainability means evaluate many strategies. It is almost impossible to imagine a unique way to face it. For this reason, we consider the voluntary approach mentioned by Damson 2007. This approach argues that although attitudes and behavior are driven by deep structures, for example economic structures, the structures are determined, determined in part by how we live our lives. It means that people have an important role in achieving sustainable development. Their behavior influences heavily the condition of the system. In the process of behavior change, design should educate people for sustainable sustainability related values. For example, ethics, cooperation, respect for the environment, etc. Educating people in sustainability is not simple. Sustainable issue very often makes people frustrated, bored and anxious. That's why our strategy tried to use the gaming element as fun linked with an ironic language to engage and motivate people to act responsibly. Many research confirm why games are so important as an, an educational tool. For example, for the intrinsic motivation stimulated in game, the presence of pedagogic principle in game design, etc. In the context of sustainability education, games are also extremely important for the capacity to push the user to face unpredictably and non-linear development of the event. So, we intend to design a game. The game is designed to reach a highly interactive environment as that of uh, an autonomous vehicle. We consider the cabin of a digital car as a powerful place where experimenting new interaction between human, machine and environment. Obviously, we, with uh, the word environment, uh, I mean both inside and outside the vehicle. The capability of digital car to perform deep connection with the real context through smart technology represents an excellent opportunity to strengthen the sense of belonging of the user towards a system of which is a part and of which E2 is responsible for the conditions. We designed all of that through a methodology that heavily involves systemic approach. Systemic design should address systemic thinking. On the right, we can see some of the most significant shifting provided by this approach. For example, to, from linear to circular, from analysis to synthesis, from part to consider the whole system, and so on. Concerning interaction mode, we have chosen the swipe interaction, with the purpose to make feel the user the disconnect between the simple gesture of answer to suggestion 
and the complex consequence of their decision. The game immerses the player in a semi-fictional world. The player's role is a leader, is as a leader, and their main task is to take decisions interacting with the vehicle and the environment in several ways. Finally, he is the main responsible for the condition of this world. Have been created uh, several fiction characters. Their role is uh, uh, as an advisor for the player, and uh, this uh, does uh, advisor ask with an or uh, with uh, an ironic language to make decision about matters that can appear strange, or absurd, or nonsensical. In order to follow the personal user needs, the suggestion will be customized for each user as a result of the elaboration of personal data. Those uh, data are principally collector, collected through uh, the previous journey. By the consequence of user choice, the whole system changes constantly. The change will be evident in both cases, after ethical and non-ethical suggestion. And uh, this should uh, trigger a self-reflection about the complex dynamic of uh, uh, the systems. The player has um, to monitor this change principally by three bars that measure the three dimensions of sustainability. If one of these bars go over the maximum or minimal limits, the game ends. The game is subdivided into levels that comprise a quantity of suggestion. The motivation to go on in the game should be driven by fun and the curiosity to overcome levels, discover new characters, affect an additional element until to complete the game. Players overcome levels in the system maintains if the system maintain, maintain a sustainable balance. Consequently, more they go on, more they become conscious of the system dynamics. This strategy so should trigger the rise of awareness users. In order to test our assumption, we planned three steps of prototyping. The first one, as we can see in the picture or on the, on the right uh, side of the slide, consists in a basic interactive mockup build with a sample screen composed by a limited series of cards. It is a sort of uh, the first level game. Inside of each card, a character suggests something to the player who has to decide between two answers. In the second one, the upgrade compared to the first prototype is mostly about the interaction and the environment. If the first prototype is thought to be experienced through a um, display, for example, laptop display, the second one will be tested in virtual reality. The virtual reality technology allows us to understand better how the game could work uh, the autonomous vehicle context. Yes, sure, it, it is only a simulation be, because uh, the third and last one prototype will be very near to the real game and our idea for this, uh, for this one is to test it di directly inside uh, the autonomous vehicle. The first experimentation was based on uh, the first prototype and consisted in um, a user test followed by a survey. We selected a simple of uh, exp experts uh, because we intended uh, to obtain a technical and no technical response. We expected to measure the, the game's engagement and uh, understand the effectiveness of the education capability of the game. Some relevant results are, for example, uh, that for the user, the game appears easy and out to learn, but uh, the objective is a little 
a little uh, vague and uh, not very understandable for them. The prototype seems to have actively involved most users, although the interaction are weak. And uh, finally, the type of communication approach uh, to the theme of sustainability uh, education appears to be quite innovative for most users, although many of them cannot define whether this strategy is uh, counterproductive or supportive. In general, the simple as divergent opinion about the ability of the game to reflect on sustainable issue. In conclusion, the object of the game should be more explicit for the user. The pattern of the question should be more strategic and uh, consider more the relationship between the, concern, the consequence, in particular the long-term consequence. The last main consideration regards the experimentation. Although we involved expert user into the test, they were not able to evaluate precisely the, this aspect. Maybe in the next uh, experimentation, the sample should also be extended to the non-expert users and should be taken in consideration the impact of the game in the long term to understand better the influence of this stimuli in everyday life. That's it. Thank you very much and thank you for your attention.